Facing Waves is brought to you by Tourism New Hampshire. Plan your vacation today at visitnh.gov. Developed to support the region's economic vitality and to promote stewardship and conservation of the natural world, the 740 mile long Northern Forest Canoe Trail runs through New York, Vermont, Quebec, New Hampshire, and Maine, providing canoeists and kayakers with a lifetime of paddling opportunities and adventures. I'm Mark Peabody. I'm the owner, innkeeper of Mahusik Inn. The Northern Forest Canoe Trail is uh, it's an ancient trail. It's gaining in popularity like mad right now. It was used by Native Americans for many, many years as a trade route between Lake Placid and, and really Fort Kent and even, even points north of there. Uh, and all the tribes used these, these trails and these waterways. These were their highways. And you know, it's just fantastic history of this whole area, uh, especially to do with the river. I think it was sometime in the 70s that, uh, that we all just discovered it for, for whitewater canoeing and kayaking. We started out uh, you know, paddling the Androscoggin all the time, and in the springtime especially. Uh, and then as our skills got better, uh, we started looking for, for better and better water. And, and we always knew about the rapid. My name is Jim Cochran. I'm with uh, ELC Rafting. Our premier trip is the Rapid River. You know, it has a select release date, so we're not in there a lot, but um, it's a real special place. It's very scenic, very historic. You can sit in a pool in the rapid and look downhill. And I mean downhill, and then you'll, you'll see the pool way at the bottom, and it's just frothing white in the middle, and it's a rush just to look at it. And then you start down it, and wow. <laughs> part of the uh, Northern Forest Canoe Trail as well. So there's a lot of history on that river. Mark at Mahusikin as well. I mean, he paddled it 20 years ago when, you know, in fiberglass boats. So we'd come in here and, you know, do the Rapid River and hang here for a couple hours. And this was back in the day, uh, long boats, fiberglass boats. And I'd surf this frontwards um, and do pop outs. And sometimes if we weren't getting a big release, I couldn't not touch the bottom of the river. So if you touch the bottom of the river, the pressure of the water coming over the front of the boat, you just blow out the seams with the, with the fiberglass boats. And so I'd spin it around and do it backwards till I blew out my seams in the back of the boat and then drag it up here and dry it out and duct tape it up and limp out the rest of the way. <laughs> Class three, four rapids, remoteness, you know, uh, we bring people across the lake, which is part of the wildlife refuge at the end, so we pon take them out on the pontoon boat. It's just an incredible place to paddle. Lake and Bagog and the wildlife refuge are just amazing. You know, people are amazed when they come a little bit farther north. They're like, wow, we didn't know this was up here. It really is a water destination. I think like it really is untapped.